Hi and welcome to this walkthrough on the new KK 2.0 board from Hobby King. In this tutorial I'm going to walk through the menu and all the settings you can adjust with this board and um, this is what it shows uh, when you turn it on. It's in safe mode that means it's not armed and um, you can enter the menu pressing this button and the first thing is the PI editor. Uh, here you can change all the settings for roll, pitch, yaw and um, adjust the gain limit uh, as you like. Next is the receiver test. Um, this shows the positions on your stick so um, if you move these around you can see the values change and it shows also uh, right and left uh, back and forward so uh, it, it uh, displays your uh, stick motion and you want to make sure that when trimming this out that uh, you have when when your sticks are centered then that all the values are at zero except for the auxiliary this should be on in your favorite position, so either on or idle. So if I swap this uh, switch, you can see it's almost zero. And I flick it back on, and it's on. Uh, this is where your position hold mode um, will go to. Um, next thing is the mode settings, which uh, will. Uh, adjust your self level. This is on my auxiliary port, which means it's a, a switch. Um, arming is on stick mode, which means I have to arm it uh, by uh, moving the sticks around. Uh, stick scaling is uh, like uh, reducing the maximum output on your uh, on your sticks. It, it reduces the movement and makes the quadcopter fly more stable or easily. In this setting you adjust the minimum, minimum throttle range or minimum throttle which is uh, 20 using this um, the contrast. I won't touch this. As well as the alarm. And the alarm is set with uh, one tenth of a volt which means uh, this is 10.5 volts so I'm using a 3S LiPo and if the voltage drops below 10.5 volts it will uh, ring an alarm so you can set it like this okay next thing is self level settings we can adjust the settings for the self level and how much it should uh, incorporate with your settings. The sensor test uh, shows that all sensors are working. Okay, okay, okay. You can calibrate the sensors. I did that already. Just have to hit enter on the level surface. Continue. It takes like five seconds uh, to rewrite the settings for your board. So now you press continue the calibration succeeded. The EC calibration, I won't do that right now, but uh, you have to turn the board off, put your throttle stick in the maximum uh, position, uh, press down button 1 and button 4 and then uh, connect the power and hold on to button 1 and 4 until you hear uh, the successful beeping ESC calibration noise then turn the throttle stick to the minimum position and um, wait for the calibration sound right there as well and then you can release the buttons 1 and 4 and you got your ECs uh, calibrated the mixing editor, I won't touch this but you can uh, mix ailerons with the rudder and something like this uh, this is the motor layout and as you can see I've got an X configuration. It also shows uh, the ports that are not used, motor 4, 
and the direction the motor should be turning and this is counterclockwise and then you can go through the settings and adjust the motors and the spinning according to this. Next fun thing is the load motor layout and in this mode you can change the layout which means you can adjust what uh, adjust the board to whatever copter you got so single copter, dual copter, tricopter and so forth. So there are a lot, a lot of settings and I forgot one. The last one is debug function but uh, I won't touch that as well as well. So that it, that is it. This is the menu. Uh, you arm your copter by moving your rudder stick to the right. Now it's armed and you could fly. Uh, you disarm it by uh, moving the rudder stick to the left at minimum throttle uh, position. And that is it. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe.